finally. Okay, um, hi, I'm Gilad. I'm a patent attorney and a partner at Reynolds Coin Group. Uh, start with the fact that I'm a patent attorney, but I'm not a lawyer. I'm actually trained in physics. Um, I'm going to present a little bit of my group, the Reynolds Coin Group, go quickly about what is a patent, why should we or you file for any patents. I'll give you a few examples of things that you can think about when you're thinking of patents uh, or inventions in the field of quantum computing and look at filing trends of fil patent filing in this field. So the Ronald Cohn Group is uh, one of the biggest uh, IP groups firms in Israel. We have seven professional practice groups, uh, about 65 patent attorneys and lawyers. Most of the patent attorneys are not lawyers. They're trained in their technology fields. No, only this is the physics group, the physics practice. Uh, three of us are physicists. Uh, Guillaume Stern, myself, and Dr. Nikoslovich, and Cynthia is electrical engineer. Good enough, good enough. <laughs> um, okay, so quickly, what, what is a patent? A patent is a right uh, or an agreement between a person or a company and a state that allows you to have monopoly of your technology for a limited time in exchange for basically publishing everything about your invention. So most of you publish things anyway, so publishing is not a high cost, but you can get and exchange some monopoly and that is a first step for commercializing uh, technology, which is at the end important for uh, progress and uh, benefit. It provides you the right to exclude others, but it does not directly provide you the right to use the technology you patented. You, it, it may be a uh, situation where somebody else has a patent that covers your technology before you invented something and they can block you. Uh, for any technology or invention to be patentable, it has to be novel. That means that any publication made before you filed for a patent is going to stand against you and destroy novelty. That means uh, if you have anything interesting that can be applied for any used technology, don't put it on archive before you file for a patent. Don't speak about it in a conference and don't put it in your poster. Start with a patent and only publish it only after. Um, it, additional uh, requirements such as inventive step, meaning the difference between whatever was published before and your invention should not be obvious. It has to have some use. This is very, some use. It doesn't really matter what it is. You have to provide enough information that allows a person skilled in the art to use this invention. And there are additional requirements depending on countries. Um, why should we file a patent? So that's the first step, basically, for to commercialize an invention, basically, uh, or technology. Basically, the first thing you want to do is say, this is mine, and therefore I can use it uh, and commercialize it. Um, you can often use patents to attract investors. You, when you start a company, the IP portfolio adds to the company value. You use patents and trade patents for collaboration, cooperation, leverage contractors. And the main thing, or what used to be the main thing, and today is a very important thing, but I wouldn't say that's the first thing you do with patent, is block or repel com competitors. Basically, a patent allows you to block a competitor, but it's not so easy these days where there is a lot of information, a lot of uh, um, previous knowledge in, in everything. Um, when we're talking about quantum computers, there are a few things we can think about that may be relevant for patents. I'm not going into details because I can't go into ideas that maybe we didn't even think about. So we can look about the structure of the circuit, the qubit structure, what kind of readout we use, what kind of control we use. Uh, cooling might be an important issue. Any configuration that allows you to scale your uh, scale a quantum computer up. Um, 
There is an issue with software and mathematical aspects, but in general, often, and especially in a, a new field like quantum computer, it is possible. It is not as easy. It is possible to patent uh, mathematical ideas associated with quantum computers, such as error correction, simulations, algorithms, and in general, everything that has any kind of application is something that you might want to consider to commercialize and therefore you want to patent before. If we look at uh, patent filing in the field of quantum computers, um, so I, what I did, I took all patent publication in the world limited to classification that relates to quantum computing. And uh, you, we can see that until 2012, 2013, there were a very small number of patent applications filed every year in this field. And there's a big jump in the number of patent applications. So the, the small uh, drop that we see between 2020 and 2021 is a result for the late publication of patent application. A patent is only published a year and a half after filing. So the just most recent ones were not published yet. Um, if we look at uh, filing divided based on countries, we can see that the United States was leading for many years, and China has basically took over in the past year or two. Um, continuing to different, con different companies that filed. So we met IBM here, the uh, biggest filer in the field. Uh, the usual suspect, Microsoft, D-Wave, Google, Intel, as well as uh, Beijing, Baidu. Um, as I said, China is taking over. Oh, okay. So um, a family is, um, a patent is uh, an agreement between an inventor or a company and, this, and a country. So you can file the same invention in different countries, and that is a family. Okay, um, to summarize, that, that is the end. Uh, patents are a very uh, strong tool for do doing business. It is the first step for commercializing uh, ideas and technology. Um, there is a huge rise in filing, patent filing in the field of quantum computing in every aspect of the field. There is still a lot of space for innovation. Um, you should always remember to consider um, if you have any idea that has any kind of application before you put it on the archive, before you, you publish it, think maybe you can patent it. It's, if you're in a university, it's at least for the benefit of the university you're in. Sometimes you can make good money out of it. And basically patents definitely, definitely push innovation forward and that we can see how, how much progress we've seen in, in any field since it got commercialized. And that's, that's it. Any questions?